about a year and a half. A year and a half. Okay. Uh, some ups, uh, ups and downs in those year, in, in the year and a half, but you are absolutely crushing it. And I honestly think that right now you are like at the best place spot that you've ever been since we met so year and a half ago like where where like where were you with your overall like health fitness uh and everything to give us a little bit of background well um when we met i was uh the typical person that you know went through all of the feeds and you know you'd see a new diet and a new pill or anything it'd be like order it order it you know and try everything and you know if there was a new diet i was on it that's I why we got along diet program that i didn't do yeah honestly and um so you know failure after failure after failure it kind of got a little tiring and then when you and I met, um, I had lost uh, several inches at the beginning, and uh, but my weight didn't change. And so um, the one thing I realized when we first met is that I didn't have any concept on how horrible of a relationship I had with food. I really didn't know that mm. it was as bad as it was. Mm. Um, and so that really came to light where it was like, holy crap, like, I really have this fear of the scale, the fear of, you know, like, of success, you know, like, I felt like when I would start to lose a little bit of weight, it would like, I'd sabotage it be like, okay, well, you know, maybe you don't deserve this. So it'd be like, I'd find something else, to, somebody else to help, somebody else to save, somebody else to do something for because I didn't want to succeed mm. kind of thing. Um, and so I felt like it, I didn't deserve it. And mm. so there was a lot of healing that I had to do for myself. Mm. Um, and those are things that I really had no idea. So um, your program is maybe, you know, fitness, but I think people don't understand that it's more than just that. It is a huge lifestyle change that comes into play. And I think joining Vigor Fitness, it is, um, it has been a lifestyle change for me mentally and physically throughout this journey. And, um, all of the coaches have have been a part of this for me in in bits you know like everybody comes in as a team and it really is a team effort and you get um you get people in the group that you know will give you something um you know even if it's just like a recipe somebody shares or or it's a tip that somebody says oh i did this or i threw something like this together like it's all those things um but my journey was very slow because I was very stubborn mm. um, because I sat and watched it was like I watched everybody succeed and I watched all these things and I was like oh yeah yeah okay well I had to be ready for myself 100% yes so um, turning 53 this year um, before my birthday I had, was really struggling a lot um, dealing with my mom and you and I had chatted about that yeah. a lot of um, it was very difficult my mom had to go into a home and dealing with elderly parents is very yeah. stressful um, so I went to my family doctor and I do encourage everybody to uh, to reach out to all resources and and again that's what bigger fitness is about is is really showing you that it's a whole bunch it's not just the food it's your lifestyle that you need to change and and it's not just one little thing like it's not just okay let's start eating differently and and oh it's a diet it's it's lifestyle change that's doable and livable and it's not restricted that you can't enjoy your life yes and it's it's a mental change that that you will live and love it and it's healthy you know, so I went to my doctor and it was funny because she said, um, 
well, you're obese because your BMI is over 30. Mm. And I'm like, yeah, I am. And um, so I was struggling with um, premenopausal symptoms. So I had some medication for that. Um, I suffer from migraines really bad. So mm -hmm. the medication I was on for the migraines, we switched that because it was causing me to be extremely exhausted. Mm -hmm. So I switched that. Um, and then there was another medication I was on that was um, reacting and it was a, actually a weight gain medication. Mm -hmm. um, so it was, it was kind of restricting some of the things that now it wasn't an excuse, mm -hmm. but it was, it was something that could help, you mm -hmm. know, or, or restrict. So I do encourage people to talk to your doctor, you know, do all those things that, you know, it does take a village, like do your research and do all those things. Um, but then the funny thing is, is when she knew my BMI was over 30, she said, I need you to see a dietitian. And I said, well, I'm already working with you. No, I need you to see a dietitian. So I was like, whatever. Okay, I'll, I'll see a dietitian. And so I see this dietitian and she goes, okay, so what are you eating? And so I show her all my stuff for my fitness pal. She's like, oh, okay. So, and I said, well, I'm doing this for my macros and this for my fat and my this and that. And she's like, okay, well, there's really nothing I can tell you. And it was funny because she's like, okay, you, you're following everything that you need to follow. And there's nothing, nothing that she could tell me that was any different than you were telling me. So I was like, yeah, okay, yeah. I just know that I need to follow what Martina's telling me to do. I just need to get my shit together is what I need to do. <laughs> so it's kind of like a wake-up call where it's like, okay, I know that I need to do these things. So now it was like, okay, so mentally it, the light bulb kind of went off and I went, okay, so you've been sitting here and you've been watching and you've been learning. So let's put it into play. Mm -hmm. Do you want to change your life and do you want to be healthy and you want to be a part of your children's life? Do you want to be active? Do you want to be that person that's active and healthy or do you want to be that person that just sits around? And I just mm -hmm. went, okay, done. And yeah, so 33 pounds officially this morning. And I'm not weight obsessed on the scale. Um, mentally, I am, I am feeling so, so healthy. Um, I track my food on my fitness pal. And sometimes I take a break. I know. But I don't even, I don't even think about it. Like I just, I feel like I make healthy choices. But the like there's times where, you know, um, we'll go out and we'll eat. And I just, I don't even think like, I'm like, Oh, I'm going to have a salad and I'm going to add some, you know, chicken for my protein. And then if the kids have fries, I'll have a couple of fries, but I don't even think like, it doesn't even, I don't even feel like I want that crap. Yeah. Like it just doesn't even, I don't even think about it. And if you have it, you don't feel guilty about having it. I, I don't. Yes. I don't. Yes. That's what I'm, I'm not, talking I'm not about. I'm afraid of the damn food anymore. Yeah. And it's just like, okay, I'm, I'm healing, but you know, it's, 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 it's a process because I, you know, like when you see the new people on the crew joining, you know, like, and you see, you hear them introducing themselves and I, I read some of the, the stories and I'm like, oh my God, I can relate. That used to be me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 But it's so easy to slide back into that. So you just have to mentally stay in your head and go, you know what? This is not a fucking diet, people. Yes. It's not restrictive. It's a lifestyle. And you just need to reach out to your resources and it's and reach out to the people that love you. If you're finding that you're premenopause or you're any of that, go to your doctor, you know, find out the medications you're on, do your research take your vitamins, you know, take your B complex, do all those things. And you've got a team of coaches and everybody's here for you, including the crew and everybody's so helpful. And it's just like, try, you know, and don't get bored because this food is damn healthy yes. and it's, and it's tasty and you can, I mean, the variety of stuff that you can have, is so amazing and at the beginning i was like oh my god like i'm a foodie how am i gonna how am i gonna do this but now it's like oh my god that like my husband will make food and it's just like 
the stuff that we eat is just fantastic. It, there's no restriction on really anything. You just eat it and enjoy it and, and it's good. Like there's, it's a lifestyle change. I love that. And the transition is always hard. And I wanted to point on one thing when you said it took me who knows how long. I literally just had a um, talk with one of my clients this morning and she is like at the beginning and she kind of felt like every week there is like the same issue. And, and she almost got to the point where she felt embarrassed to uh, say, I still struggle. I still struggle. Yes. I still don't know how to put the food in my fitness pal, or I just cannot remember do that. And so I look at her and I said, but there's no timeline. I don't expect you to be perfect in four weeks, maybe four months. It might take you a year, just like you yeah. were crushing it from the beginning. Then you went through some life changes and life just happened and you literally went up with your weight. You were the heaviest you've been in a long time. And next thing you know, in my life. right. And next thing you know, you just like, like, I guess like hit the rock bottom, bottom, just like me when I came back from check and after the prep and I just couldn't like get out of the like, damn it, just like be consistent for freaking seven days a week. It just was like, out of my I couldn't I don't even know why yeah. and 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 now it's been I honestly want to say one thing Laura you have like no idea I said it to you but you inspire me <laughs> just like you say that I inspire you and that's why you initially a year and a half ago like reach out to me or I reach out to you because we have so much in common, especially when it comes to the food and unhealthy relationship with food. But really, there has been times when you were already crushing it like two months ago and I was still getting out of the slump on my own. And then I see you crushing it and I was so inspired by you. I was like, damn, like, now the role switched like literally like i was feeling oh, like seeing making... seeing your success i was like every time i would look at your app and look at your progress i was like no nah, if she can do it you can do it too and i was down deep dealing with some other stuff that didn't allow me to be on track or stay on track the same way like you were or i wanted to like it was just so hard but like i tell everybody the group it gives me so much like i can have like the worst day ever and i go to the group and i see all the girls and guys we don't have many but some of them just posting the selfies and they're just like i did my workout i crush it and then then there are posts when people are so vulnerable and just share their struggles and that also makes me emotional knowing that The group is so safe for everybody that you can literally just share there anything and no one will ever judge you and you will get always the support that you need. And I just love it so much. And like, it wouldn't be the same without you. Like every once in a while, like you are the part of the bigger fitness family forever. Like everyone knows who you are and knows your story and, and you inspire so many people. That's why I always gonna bring you on here because like every two months there's something fresh, something new that you've learned, uh, some you know things that you can share with others that will help others because you truly are, you have changed your lifestyle. Like you said, it's just not, I lost 30 pounds. It's like, no, it's like, it's just a whole, like it's like a package. Like I feel good, I feel good in my clothes, but I tell you the biggest thing, it's not the 30 pounds. It's up here. Oh, yeah. Because you can lose the weight. Just for everybody, I've said it on the live before. Every time we have an interview together, I see a baby carrots. <laughs> Because you used to eat just baby carrots. I remember that you told me that on our very first call. 
And I'm like, damn, I used to eat just apples for seven days. She was eating just carrots, thinking that this is the way how to lose weight. And that was usually the only thing we wanted. Like we had this, like, I need to lose weight, but we didn't see that we need to fix first the damage, the, the mindset, the relationship with food. Because if you don't fix that, I can guarantee you that I, I can yeah. I, I can put you on diet where you're going to lose that weight. Well, you're going to gain it back after, for sure, plus some extra. But the damage when it comes to your mindset will be even worse. So until you fix that, you will struggle your whole life. And you said that you struggled most of your life. Well, right? I am 53 years old. And not until I was an adult, like I'd always been very, very, very thin as a child and all through. And then I got pregnant and had children and just let myself go. Mm. And that's the bottom line. Mm. You just, you don't care, right? You mm. just, and, and that's me being completely bluntly honest. Mm -hmm. What you exactly said is you can go on any damn diet you want. You can lose as much weight as you want. And you can do all of that. That is no problem at all. Everybody can do that. But until you fix up here, you will never, ever keep it off. Never. Agree. And nobody really understands that. And that is the biggest, that is the absolute biggest thing that I don't think people understand with bigger fitness is this is what it's about. It is about the mental. It is not about anything else this is about a journey it's about a lifestyle and it's about mentally changing you to be healthy and to change your lifestyle it's not a diet we, and it's fixing so many people um, and if i can be fixed that's like I, i'm not kidding you like i have i could probably list 20 things that I've tried, oh, probably more. Oh, I think more. Like the name that I've tried it. Yeah, and it's just like I'm like this pill, that pill, this pill, that diet, this pill, Jenny Craig, this cut, Weight Watch, so good. And it's just like fix this, and that's what Figure Fitness is 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 really all the group. It's it's about mentally, and I think that's the biggest thing is reach out and be with. You know, be with the coaches, be with the people and, and follow the journey because once you're there and you get it, you won't go back. I love that so much. This is so like, I, I just love that we just don't talk about like losing weight because that's what most, of we, that. yeah, because most women just like, I just want to lose the weight and they don't care about anything else and how, how they do it and how, what approach they choose as long as it's fast. But the next exactly. thing you know, 10 years later, they are still trying a new trends and yeah. still are not happy. Yeah. Yeah. That's it exactly it because they don't fix what's really wrong. Yeah. But I think the thing is, Martina is exactly what happened to me when I met you. I had no idea that I had a relationship with food, mm. that I uh, that I had a problem with it. I had no idea. I just thought like I need to lose weight. But that's where I think the thing with you is that you made me realize that because I had no idea. Mm. I just thought I'm I'm fat and I need to lose weight. What's mm. the big deal? But I had no idea that there was that issue where, oh, like I really don't. I really am afraid of the skill. I really don't know what I'm eat, why I'm eating the way I'm eating. I really don't realize that I'm eating this because of this. I really don't know that this is why I'm doing that. And, and when I actually started, you know, thinking about those things, I was like, shit, I, I really don't have a healthy relationship. I never realized that was the issue. Like I didn't have any idea that that was what was going on. That's crazy, but and then that when it when it the light bulb went off, it was like, oh, well, frick it. here it is. All these years, this is what was going on. This is not the what I'm eating. It was up here, 
when I fixed this, it was like, holy shit. Now it's like, oh, oh, okay. Now this all works. Crazy. So but, <laughs> you know. but you know what? You're not the first one who said that. And I think two things. First is that we get so, so con con consumed by all the information that we find on Google and all the diets that everyone promotes, then if that in, in a couple of years when you are like the victim of the diet culture, you actually get to the point where you don't even know how to eat anymore. Oh God, yeah. I that's why I know that majority of the time when I work with new clients, I'm teaching them how to eat and they could be 30, 40, 50, 60 years old because they, yeah, they totally. just, they lost the even understanding about like what balanced diet is, like how should I actually eat? So that's like one problem that I see very often with 99% of our clients. And yeah. number two, two is that literally I tell you that I need five minutes talking to you and I know right away if you have unhealthy relationship with food why because I've had it for 12 years so there could yep. be signs that or things that you say and those are the things that triggers and and I know like right away like yeah so our goal is not going to be to lose weight first our goal is going to be to fix what's here and the way how you look at food and then the weight loss will come with it, 100%. And I know that always. And that's why I think I'm also very good with setting up realistic expectations with a lot of clients because they when come to me and they're eating 800 calories, I tell them right away, you're not going to lose weight for a couple months, yeah. maybe even a year, because you lost the ability to lose any weight at this point. So we need to fix what's, like you said, here first. I love that, that you went through like but the thing is is that you the the greatest part about bigger fitness is that you um you truly interview your clients and you want a good fit because you have to be ready mm -hmm. to to be on board um because if it if you if you have a client that just wants i just want to lose 20 pounds well there's no point that's not a good client if for me no, but, but if you want, if you truly want to start living a lifestyle and, and get, you know, your life and, and get your, and get healthy and, and fix what's going on and just get a healthy lifestyle. This is, this is where you need to be because it's, it's, it's the bomb. Like you have got, you've got coaches on your side, you've got mentors, you've got people that like lifers that have been there that you know have been with the group and that you can reach out and never people will judge no. and you can ask stupid ass questions and people are there for you and you can literally like pour your heart out and people will be like i've been there yeah you know so like that's what you you know those are the people that are gonna be here and are they they are going to succeed and they are going to change their life. And that's, if you want to, you know, if that's what you're looking for, this is the place you need to be. Because it's not going to happen in a month. It's not going to happen in two weeks. You're not going to lose that immediately. But I mean, if you want to change your life, this is where it's at. I love that so much. I That's why I told you many times, every time I see your progress, your messages. I'm like, I think that what makes me the happiest is not, yes, of course, like I want you to like, you know, wear the clothes and feel sexy and like your selfies, I love them. You're just like, ah, oh, sexy <laughs> and happy. Yeah. You can see that. But that's not really what makes me the happiest. Honestly, what makes me the happiest is knowing that it's like a completely new version of you. It's not just temporarily. I lost the weight now and I'm happy temporarily. It's like I got here. It took me a year and a half, but it's forever. Like it is. it's it's like you will never ever go back to the Laura who used to eat baby carrots all day long or 
chewing food and spitting in a garbage bin like I did. And we agree that we both did it because we had yeah. eating disorder. Like you will never go back because the moment you would do it, you would be like, what? What are you doing? This yeah. is not <laughs> what we want to do here. No. Yeah, I love no. that. Well, thank you so much for the chat. It just feels like we're sitting in the living room together. And I love I that. Know, I love it. I love it too. Uh, is there anything else that you want to share? I feel like you just covered completely like everything. Like this is so, so, so amazing that people can hear your story. And like I said, like you are, you're just a rock star, like You inspire me. You inspire everybody. Everyone who I say Laura, everyone knows Laura. And that's just like, wow. yeah, makes me really happy. And Trisha. Yes, Trisha is the same. Trisha is the rock star too in our group. <laughs> She's watching. She just made a yes. comment. Yeah. So is there so, anything yeah, else you want to wants to, If anybody ever is, it has issues and they want to reach out, um, I'm happy to chat and as always and And uh, it was awesome talking to you. And I'm sending you a giant hug. We will hang out soon. I told you. <laughs> yes. Okay. Thank you so much for taking the time on Friday. I know you are super Have busy. A fantastic weekend. You too. And we'll chat soon. Thank you. Okay. Take Bye. care. Bye. Bye.